Nearly 200 times since last July, Kentucky kids under the state's care, they've been forced to sleep in state offices at state parks or in hospital emergency rooms because the state had nowhere to put them. The data obtained by the Wave Troubleshooters provides the most detailed picture of the problem since it was first revealed the kids have been sleeping in the LNN building at the 9th and Broadway. Wave News Troubleshooter Mark Stevens says facilities across the state are rejecting kids. We spent months trying to get video proof of what's been happening. We obtained a rare glimpse of the foster care crisis in one police department's body camera video. That video shows the maze the state finds itself in. What are we doing? Come over here. This summer, Maysville police found a 16-year-old walking on the bridge to Ohio with his backpack and sleeping bag. What are we running for? Huh? Charge you with what? He had run away from the state social services offices a block from the base of the bridge. He didn't want to go back. Can you just let me go? No, I can't let you go. After a struggle, officers cuffed him, put him in the car, and brought him back to the government building, where state workers confirmed to police the boy was in big trouble. And that's when he, I ain't going back, they're trying to charge me with rape. Because he's admitted to it. He's admitted to rape that 12 year old at his foster house. So. We don't know officially what happened next to the boy. Those records are confidential. But state records obtained by the Wave News troubleshooters show a 16 year old boy spent 15 days living and sleeping in this office building during this exact time frame. This body camera video provides a rare look at the crisis Kentucky is facing. They can't put him in any facilities? No, because he's been turned down all over the state. And now that he's got a sexual, possible sexual crime, they can't put him anywhere where there's a female. These records show foster children in the state's care have had to sleep in state offices, hospitals, or state parks with social workers with them nearly 200 times since July of 2022 when the state began tracking this issue. On average, kids will sleep in what the state calls a non-traditional placement for four nights, although half stayed less than two. The kids are typically teens. The average age is about 15. But a two-year-old was the youngest to spend a night in an office in Prestonburg. Kids have slept at the LNN building in downtown Louisville 17 times. One child spent six nights sleeping at the Barron River State Park Lodge, but state workers told the judge in one case the lake presents a safety hazard to kids who may want to hurt themselves. Nearly 30 times, kids have been forced to sleep in hospital emergency rooms, even though they were not patients. One hospital spokesperson told me, our facility has provided accommodations while a state guardian is with them at all times. But by far, the state's main alternative is an office. Well, one of y'all, when we go back up, stay with us for a little bit. I want to give him his night medicines and those. That makes me pass out. Is this an appropriate setting for, for foster children? No, and uh, we've had this conversation for well over a year. Republican State Senator Julie Rocky Adams says these kids need a higher level of care, but because they do, foster homes and state contracted facilities reject them for being too difficult. Social workers will make hundreds of calls trying to find a place to send a foster child with no luck. The kids that are in state care that kind of need that extra support and extra counseling um, or don't have a place to go. Facilities that are already under contract with the state, should they have the ability to reject uh, kids? They are providing care for the kids that they have been certified to care for. This is a higher level of care that is required. Right now, we don't have the capacity to adequately meet the needs that these young people represent. Kentucky Youth Advocates Director Terry Brooks says the state shouldn't force kids into programs that can't handle them. That would disrupt treatment for other kids in the state's care. He says the state needs to invest more in specialized programs and people to treat these kids. Translation, more expensive care. And we're going to have to talk turkey. Uh, during that budget session. Uh, it's one thing for a lawmaker or the administration to say we really care about these kids. It's another thing to put dollars where your rhetoric is. The Cabinet for Health and Family Services ignored our request to interview Secretary Eric Friedlander, but he last told state lawmakers in July kids sleeping in state offices is unacceptable. This is a tragedy. It's a tragedy. 
His staff said they tried offering more money to people willing to treat these kids, but it didn't work. Now the state has asked for companies to provide some type of program to treat up to 24 kids with the toughest cases. We can't be that state. These are kids. These are kids. Meanwhile, the kids who find themselves in limbo. Are we staying here for the evening? You're ready again? Will continue to find themselves sleeping in conditions like this. See you in the morning. A cabinet spokesperson emailed me Monday, nearly a month after I requested an interview with Secretary Friedlander. She said the Cabinet for Health and Family Services has added $41 million to their budget to help providers and get more foster parents. The state's call for proposals for an additional 24 beds to treat these difficult cases got no responses. Mark Stevens, Wave News. All right, thank you.